everybody, welcome to week number five of 52 Weeks of Fiber Art. I'm Brandy Lynn and today we're going to play with foil. The first thing to consider when playing with foil is your supplies. Of course you need foil which comes in a rainbow of colors plus iridescence. You can foil on all kinds of things like walls, wood or paper, but today we're talking about fabric. The next thing to consider is you need to choose your glue. Today I'll be using Jones Tones Plexi Glue because it dries pretty fast and stays slightly tacky. We'll also use paperbacked fusible and misty fuse today. You can also purchase a liquid glue if you need a thinner application like screen printing. So let's get started. The first technique is to use the glue straight from the bottle. If you're working with kids you can draw pictures, write their names, or do fun applications right on the fabric. But I prefer to stay away from the thick beaded line of the glue with the old puffy paint effect so here's a few different techniques. You can use a resist like a circle, a label, freezer paper to capture the glue within a circle. You can also simply draw lines across the fabric with the glue. And some dots here and there. Big smooshy dots, doesn't matter. Anything goes, we're just having fun. Then you can take a piece of paper, spread out the glue under the paper, remove it for a flattened effect. You can also use the glue right out of the bottle to fill your circle in any way you like. Remove the sticker Allow the glue to dry. It should dry between one and three hours and then you'll be ready to apply the foil. You can also use stamps, rubbing plates, stencils and more for foil. Today I'll give you an example of how to use a stamp. Just paint the glue onto the stamp and simply press it onto your fabric. Wait for your design to dry and then rub on the foil. Now let's try paperbacked fusible. You can cut the fusible in any design or shape you like freehand or you can draw a design on the back and cut it out. Once you have your fusible designs cut out, just place them on your fabric and press them in place. Allow them to cool for a few seconds and then peel the paper backing away. Another cool product we'll add to this piece before we foil it is Misty Fuse. Just cut a little piece away. and then snip it into tons of little pieces to make confetti. Once you have your misty fuse all spread out like confetti, take a pressing cloth, carefully lay it on top, and press. The key to the Misty Fuse is that you want to let it cool completely before you remove the pressing sheet. You want it to stick to the fabric and not the pressing sheet. Now paperbacked fusible and Misty Fuse are faster than glues because there's no drying time. You can simply place the foil on top and go to it. But they're not tacky so you need to use an iron. Use the tip of your iron just to press the glue. When you put the foil on you always put the color side up. Once it's cooled completely, you can peel the foil away. If some of it didn't stick, you just replace the foil again, press it again, and pull it away. So here's the tacky glue we put on earlier. You simply rub your foil on, color side up and peel away. Here's our stamped flower. 
simply rub the foil on the glue with the color side up and peel away. I found a great resource online for foil, glue, and other foiling supplies at Laura Murray Designs. You can find them at www.lauramurraydesigns.com. Until next time, dream big and work hard in the studio with Canadian Quilt Talk.